Many shall say, come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord. For so long we have focused on the evil and the negative part of the last days, that by certain cultural practices we have forgotten that we have assured promises of these days. Yes, there will be chaos. And just like Isaiah said, darkness will indeed cover the earth and cross darkness to people, but the knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. We are assured that because the character of God does not change, it will happen with us as it did with the apostles that the word of the Lord in our hands will grow and mightily prevail. He assured us that many will know him. No, we will not be few that will be going to heaven. Zechariah 12, 8 makes us to understand that in the last days, the weakest among us shall be as mighty as David. Jesus promised that the least in the kingdom will be greater than the greatest of the prophet who was John the Baptist. Obadiah 1, verse 21 says that saviors will arise from Mount Zion, the Messiah, that all of creation is groaning and waiting to comfort will come from our ranks. Acts 2 and verse 19 records God's promise for the last is that he will show wonders in the heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Blood, fire, vapor, and smoke. The last day church is a church of the outpouring of the early rain and late rain in the fourth season of the fullness of the spirit. She is an elevated church. She is a triumphant church, a church worthy of the first begotten son of God. She is the church that will give birth to the sons of God that creation is waiting for the strange order of men that will walk just like Jesus walked. No, the church will not die. The church will not wax old. Christ will build the church and the gates of hell will not prevail. The best days of the church are not behind her. For the glory of the latter hour shall exceed the former gloriously. This is the best time to be alive. Why? Hebrews 11 verse 39 to 40 shows the picture. For he says that none of these people, Elijah, Moses, Abraham, David, even though their lives of faith were exemplary, got their hands on what God promised. See, God had a better plan for us. That our faith and their faith comes together to make one beautiful bond. Their yeah? lives of faith is incomplete without our home. See, the cloud of witness are waiting for us to become the end time army. The church is a winning army. The rapture will not be an escape plan for the church. It's an homecoming for generals. Don't you understand? Jesus has a plan. There is no reason to be afraid. The fight is fixed. Christ has won. The last days of the church are glory-filled days. The king is coming back to reign a thousand years and then forever. Act like it. Say that. This is a Vic Addicts concept. Follow us on Instagram at victoraddicts94.